still good weather and I'm taking it for a spin. So I actually shot some footage earlier on today whilst the weather was good and I thought I'd get the best shots before uh, I go ahead and show you that I'm actually not losing any speed. I'm getting the same speed as I would without the suspension. I presume though that I would uh, lose some range. It was very stable, very bouncy and the rear suspension complements it nicely. So there is one little uh, issue with the rear suspension is it is a little bit more jerky compared to the front. The front's got a nice bounce to it. The rear one has a nice bounce, but it is still jerky. It's like having the fork suspension on there. So I'm going to come up to a, a nice low curb. If it gets up there, it's a bit, it's a bit of a shock, but it gets up there. I'd always say lift the front up when you're trying to go up a curb like you usually would because you don't want to put any unnecessary stress on, on components and coming off curbs do the same just lift the front up a little bit to guide yourself off so let's try it on this curb here there you go it gets a nice little bounce up and then the rear takes a lot of the brunt So one of the questions I was asked is, do I go for the fork suspension or do I go for the shark set? And although there is testing to be done, oh, that was a nice little drain that went over. It's really nice, smooth, smooth that out nicely. So do you go for the fork or the shark set suspension? And I would say, whatever suits your budget. The shark set suspension is, is nicer it feels smoother and it smooths out the bumps a lot better uh, for those big ones but um, the fork suspension also smooths out those little bumps yeah the the shark set suspension does its job very very nicely and very well and there is a a premium with that um, but as you can set tail from the unboxing that premium justifies the cost the qualities there you get the, the lovely lights with it as well and you're getting three sets of springs in there the fork suspension is cheap but it it does its job and if you're looking for something that's going to be commuting on these sort of roads with not very much harsh bumps then by all means go for the fork suspension if money is no object to you then go for the shark set so i do have the soft springs in at this time i will be adding the other springs in to fill what they feel like can all ready to fill after doing a couple of miles and going over lots of bumps the uh, there's less strain in my legs which is a good thing that's what the suspension is meant to do if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next one.